okay hi virgo welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here welcome and if you are returning thank you so much for supporting the channel so we're going to go ahead and get you a be aware let's see if there's anything or anyone that you need to be aware of at this time now virgos this is not going to resonate for everyone take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest okay thank you to those who have reached out for personal readings thank you to those who have donated to the channel it's very much appreciated guys so thank you so much if anybody is interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below, guys. So let's give this one more shuffle. All right, Spirit, give me a message for my Virgos. Is there anything that I need to be aware of at this time? I'm hearing three cards. So I was only planning on pulling two. But let's go with the three, I guess. Maybe there is something you have to be aware of. So, now also the be aware doesn't have to be something bad, right? It could be something good, to be honest. Give me a message from my Virgos. What do I need to be aware of at this time? Thank you, Spirit. What's the most important message that I need to hear? Oh, yeah. Message of concern. Be aware. I had 14 boys down to a five. The fives represent change. Show me more. Why is the message of concern here? Thank you. Oh, imprisonment. Interesting. Show me more. Thank you. And you have child coming out here. Oh, coughing at the bottom of the deck. Occupation, courtship. Toil and labor, sudden wild thoughts. And I'm seeing house as well. Somebody got their eye on your money, Virgo? Got two work cards here with the sudden wealth. I'm also hearing the song by Take That, Relight My Fire. So some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, doesn't have to be. This could just be that maybe somebody's coming back from the past. Relight my fire. I saw that courtship. But my concern here is the two work cards, the sudden wealth and the coffin. It's maybe a situation that is already over here. But let's see, because you have child coming out here. <clears throat> so let's get some cards. Message of concern. Yeah, look at that. The eight of one and the eight of armed swords. Somebody in their head about something. Someone's stuck in a situation with that hanged man. King of Pentacles, which is your energy. I saw the Moon card. Oh, the Nine of Cups. The Ace of Wands. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yeah, there's that relight my fire. So give me some cards. Why is the message of concern here? Well, damn, that came out straight away. The Sun card, which is Leo energy. Uh, some card can talk about happiness, but it can also talk about illumination here, right? So maybe something coming to the surface with that message of concern. Let's see. Why is the sun card here for my Virgo? Show me. Thank you. Oh, the five of swords. There's that underhanded behavior, right? There's that energy of somebody wanting to win at all costs. There's that energy of lies, cheating, somebody trying to get away with something. Now, it could be that something here is coming to the light, maybe about some lies. The Five of Swords can also talk about gossip. It can talk about rumors. Um, Let's see why it's here. Why? Oh, because is this because of finances is what I said, right? We saw those two work cards here. I don't know, Virgo, if you are financially stable. I don't know if you've got some kind of finances coming your way here, right? But the Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity. It's a new opportunity and it's from the universe, right? So this Ace of Pentacles is coming, being up, um, this Ace of Pentacles is being presented to you because you deserve it. But let's see. What's the Five of Swords? The High Priestess. Now the High Priestess could very well tell me that you already know about this Five of Swords, right? We have the devil at the bottom of the deck. Or this high priestess could tell me, I just did a message for you guys where you need to listen to your intuition. What is your intuition telling you? The high priestess could very well mean that you don't see what this is right now. 
But let's see, let's clarify. Why is the sun with the ace of pentacles? Thank you. The six of pentacles. Now the six of pentacles talks about... Oh, it does usually talk about equal give and take. It talks about giving and receiving. I don't know if somebody wants something from you. Why, why is the six of pentacles here? The chariot. Or this is you receiving something. Something coming towards you here with the chariot. Give me one more with the six of pentacles and the chariot. Some of that doesn't need to be aware of. Show me. Six of pentacles and a chariot. Thank you. The nine of cups. Now that talks about wish fulfillment. There's something coming towards you, Virgos, that is going to make you happy. Maybe something that you invested in. What is that? Yeah, I was just thinking that. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I was just thinking the Six of Pentacles or the Ace of Pentacles makes the Seven of Pentacles. Something that you invested in. Some seeds that maybe you have planted in the past that are now coming to fruition. Or you're getting ready to pick some kind of a harvest. I feel like there's good news coming to some of you. It may catch you by surprise, right? What is the Five of Swords and the High Priestess? Wow, the Empress. But it's with the Five of Swords. Show me more. All right, is the Empress here? Thank you. All right, we just saw him, All right? The King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. We also have Pisces out here, Leo. We have um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, especially Cancer here with the Chariot. We have Pisces um, with the High Priestess here. But also the high priestess, so what I'm hearing is a lot of people um, connect that energy with Virgo. What was the last card? The Knight of Wands. Virgo! I feel, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I didn't see that there. Virgo, I feel like there's, a, there's a someone here who may be having some kind of regrets about doing something. They may be thinking about communicating here with you, right? Now, from what I'm seeing here with this Empress, she's attached to this Five of Swords with the Knight of Wands and the King of Swords, right? High Priestess, the Lovers. I don't know if somebody here tried to hide, I don't know, a pregnancy from you or a child, because we do have the child out here, right? Um, this may have been somebody who is having some regrets. I'm not saying regrets about the child, but maybe regrets about the actions that they took here with the Knight of Wands, right? Because the King of Swords is about the truth, right? The King of Swords is someone who is, um, I want to say clever, smart, but this King of Swords right now has given me the energy of being in deep thoughts, right? Analyzing and looking at like I said, their actions, or this could be a third party, right? Maybe there is a fire sign here that is involved for some of you. Um, but that five of swords is, is giving me, I don't know if this is in the past or this is happening right now, but it is giving me the energy of somebody here, whether this is now, right? Doing something because they want to have some kind of a victory, right? They don't care how they get it. Um, but very much later on down the line, especially with that imprisonment, it's not going to be a wise choice here, right? Or again, this has already happened and somebody is regretting, like I said, the decisions that they made, the lies that they hid from you with the high priestess here, right? Someone here may be thinking about breaking their silence. Um, so what is the imprisonment card? Thank you. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, now, usually Ten of Pentacles can talk about family, can talk about a legacy, it can talk about, you know, some kind of inheritance. What's the Ten of Pentacles? The Moon card, yeah, look. There's that secret again. Again, this being an unwise choice, somebody may feel trapped here. Um, also, there may be some kind of lies here about money, right? 
I'm also hearing the word inheritance. I don't feel like this is going to be a wise choice for somebody because it feels like if somebody is trying to take something from you here, Virgos, with the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck, it kind of gives me this energy of it's protected here. But show me, what is the Ten of Pentacles with the Moon card? Imprisonment. Why is it here? The Eight of Pentacles, and I kind of caught that. Just a, It's almost like some of you may almost have something slip through your hands or your fingers. But again, this energy of it being protected, there's that Tower card, right? Ooh, I don't know. Someone's going to have some kind of um surprise here with that Tower. Right, they, somebody here, if they, I don't know, if they continue with something here, they're going to be surprised. They're going to end up in regrets here, right? And it could also just be that somebody is having a tower moment behind the scenes because they feel trapped in a situation. What is the Ten of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles? See, it looks like with that Eight of Pentacles, someone may be watching what you do for work here. Or um, the Eight of Pentacles is very skilled. Maybe some of you are going to get very much blessed Wow, the cards are falling. But um, blessed with whatever it is that you do. It looks like it's very lubricant here, right? Like it's going to bring in a lot for you, for some of you. But you have the Six of Wands in reverse. Why is the Six of Wands in reverse? Like I said to you, yeah, someone needs to walk away from some kind of decision here that they're making, right? Um... There's no success in something here with the Six of Wands in reverse, with the Eight of Cups here as well. Now, it could be that somebody is feeling trapped in a family situation where they're not having any success, right? Maybe there's no more emotions there. This reading feels a little bit all over the place, so someone here may be confused. What is the Moon card and the Tower? The Star card. One more. How is about an epiphany, right? Yeah, look at that, the Three of Swords. Virgo, I don't know if you had a tower moment with someone and now they are kind of heartbroken here. I don't know with the tower card, this could talk about a home situation. Someone may be having a difficult time behind the scenes with an Aquarius. Someone may be upset, Virgo, behind the scenes that you have healed yourself and they're heartbroken. Maybe you're not speaking to this person with the moon card. The moon card can also talk about fears, secrets. What's this child card? I don't really want to dig too deep into this child card, the Hierophant. What's the child card? The hanged man. I don't know. Someone may feel like they're stuck in a situation because of children. But the hanged man talks about seeing something from a different perspective here. The being stuck is only temporary. The world card in reverse. So there's something here that is not over, right? So I don't know. But I'll look at that. The two of cups. I don't know if this is someone you have children with that doesn't want a situation to be over with you, but they are kind of stuck in terms of how to come towards you. I don't know if someone told you that they had ended a situation with somebody else and it very much was not true, right? What is the hangman in the world card? Coming out sideways, yeah. The knight of pentacles. So for some of you, this is why there was some kind of delay of why someone couldn't come towards you and maybe offer you some kind of commitment here, right? The knight of pentacles. Yes, he has a stable offer, but he just stands there and he holds it. He doesn't very much move. It's the slowest knight in the deck. It's almost like somebody wanting to offer you something, but they're just kind of standing there. And it could be because they cannot come towards you, right? Maybe they are stuck in another situation here. Show me more. I think he had a message like this similar the other day where I kind of said, hey, every child is a blessing. You have the temperance wanting to show its face, which talks about patience. Hmm. This person may want you to wait for them, right, with that world card. Look at that as I say that. <laughs> Six of swords comes out. This person may want you to wait for them with that world in reverse, right? Not wanting this situation to be over or this is the universe saying, hey, you know what, beware. That this situation, this cycle isn't completely over here. 
or they haven't completely ended something, right? Especially if this person is going to come towards you here. The Six of Swords talks about moving to calmer waters. Again, it could go both ways, right? Someone here needs to make a final decision in terms of which way they are going. What is the Hanged Man and the Knight of Pentacles? Show me. The Hanged Man and the Knight of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. Is this someone you work with, Virgo? Because it brings me back to the Eight of Pentacles. And we had the Eight of Pentacles out here, right? Is this someone you work with? Is this someone that can watch you at work? Yeah, the Three of Cups. Four of Pentacles, see? I feel like this is somebody that wants to come towards you. They want to invest in you here, right? But th there's third party written all over this... Um, energy they may want to communicate with you but i don't know if they have the strength to was it um seven of pentacles thank you yeah look at that the four of cups someone feeling like they missed an opportunity we one of the four of cups Page of Cups, yeah, there's an apology. There's that wanting to come towards you with fresh new energy. The Page of Cups can be quite light-hearted, maybe a little bit flirty. They may miss just you, Virgo, but I don't know if this person is married and they didn't tell you or there is some kind of commitment here with the Hierophant and the Two of Swords, not wanting you to see something, somebody being at a crossroads. Somebody not wanting to make a decision. And there's that nine of pentacles and there's a nine of swords, but very much in their head about you here. What is the world in reverse and the six of swords? For this child card. I don't know. Page of pentacles. Why is the page of pentacles here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Emperor, the Two of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Cups, they may come towards you here, right? They may allow passion, what they desire. You do have the Two of Cups here, so this person, for some of you, they may have love for you, right? They may take control of their life here. I'm hearing for some of you, you inspire this person. The way you carry yourself, your confidence, your motivation. I feel like it inspires this person to want to stand up and take control and go after whatever it is that they want here. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, doesn't have to be. The Emperor is this energy of maybe like someone who owns their own business. A CEO, someone of, oh, I was, I heard, for some of you, this is someone who has respect from other people. Well, you have the Ten of Wands here, and then you have the Queen of Pentacles. They may feel like it's too difficult to come towards you, or you guys may feel like this person is too much of a burden, right? Especially if there is third parties involved somehow, some way. This may be somebody who's still sleeping with the mother of their child or children. But you had the King of Cups here. Virgo, it's almost like when you came into this person's life or when this person met you, there was some kind of a change here. <clears throat> I don't feel like you meeting this person was an accident. What is an accident? Everything is divine timing. Everything is already orchestrally written, right? You cause some kind of change or shift in this person with a King of Cups. Maybe you release some feelings in them. Ace of Swords, the Six of Cups. Yeah, oh, the Devil. Oh, wow, the Eight of Swords. Whoops. 
Now that would be a mental prison. Right? The judgment. So I need to make a final decision here. It also talks about reconciliation. This person is very much in their head. Eight of swords, ace of swords, the devil, and the six of cups. This is obsessive thinking about the memories from the past. It also could be here that someone here is obsessively thinking about some kind of decision they need to make. Hmm. Anything else? What's the advice here? Jumpy, jumpy. Yeah, they're trying to manifest. You've got two of wands, which again talks about needing to make a decision. The magician talks about manifestation. Whoever this is, whether this is you, whoever, right? Someone here has all the tools they need to make this decision. They have everything they need. Now, it could be this person maybe trying to. I don't know. What's the advice here? Four of Swords. Four of Swords talks about healing. It talks about a stalemate, temperance. So the advice here is to have patience with some of you with that temperance. Temperance talks about balance. It talks about harmony. Show me more. Maybe this person feels like you balance them out. Look at this. I saw the Nine of Swords first. What else came out? The King of Pentacles. And the Hermit. Some of you may be dealing with another Earth sign. Or this person is just very much in their head about you. Ever since you cut them out. Because really and truly, Virgo, it kind of seems like for some of you, you really are good news to this person. But there may have been something that came out here, right? With that Hermit at the bottom of the deck. Seven of Cups. This person is confused. What was that? Yeah, they're confused about love. Maybe who to choose. Nine of Swords. What's the advice? Thank you. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they're confused because they want to hold on to you here. But they have to... I don't know. It feels like they have to boss up. And What is the King of Pentacles? What's the advice my Virgos? Thank you, show me. Oh, that's a lot of advice for the King of Pentacles. <laughs> Three of Cups, the Justice, Queen of Cups. The Three of Cups can talk about reconciliation. It feels so good, right? Having something to celebrate. The Justice talks about balancing the scales. It talks about good karma. And then you have the Queen of Cups. Who's a very loving, caring energy. Very intuitive here. I feel like the advice is, you know what, Virgo, stay grounded. Keep doing you. Right? Stay balanced. Queen of Cups, listen to your intuition. But stay loving and caring. Or also... I could be seen here with the Three of Cups, Justice and the Queen of Cups. This person has a choice to make. Maybe they have a choice to make between you and a water sign. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Wands. Oh, and the Lovers. But they know that they would be happy with you, Virgo. They know this. This is why the Hermit is here. Them doing some deep introspection. This person is very passionate about you. For those of you that have been intimate with a past person here. Well, Virgos, I'm going to leave that one there because it kind of was just, I don't know where it was running to. And I feel like it's because the MD of this situation is very confusing. There's choices that need to be made here. There's decisions that need to be made, right? And with that judgment, I feel like final decisions. I'm going to leave it there, guys. My information is always down below. Thank you for those who hit the thumbs up, who leave positive comments. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But guys, stay safe. Love and light, Virgo.